Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. We appreciate you being here with us today. Today, we are checking out one of our favorite, all-time, all-time favorite brands, something we always keep stock in the house. Blanco, Reposado, Añejo, and Extra Añejo for sure. And also super cool limited edition special bottles such as this one. So if you're just joining us, we appreciate you being here for sure. If you are a longtime subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. And today, all of us are going on this journey together because this bad boy is still sealed up. This is El Tesoro Reposado Single Barrel. Yes, what does that mean, single barrel? Well, this is a super limited edition from Old Town Tequila. Old Town Tequila, amazing tequila purveyor, right? Let's get fancy. It's a great tequila store, guys. Over in San Diego, California, yes. Uh, back in, I think this was the COVID edition, right? This was back in 2020. This was released, I believe, off the top of my head. I don't think it was 2021. Maybe they bottled it in 2020, released in 2021. I'll be honest, I completely forget off the top of my head. But you all know, especially our longtime subscribers, we have currently moved to Lima, Peru a few months back. And um, just on a recent back home to the States, I was able to bring a few bottles with me. And I decided, I said, you know what? I want something super, super special because finding agave here in Lima, Peru is few and far between. And you're really only getting some big, big brands. Um, so one of my goals here is to start spreading agave or spreading the love, right? And uh, I said, let me bring something super cool that, first of all, nobody's ever really had here. El Tesoro, what is El Tesoro, right? Nobody knows what that is here. They just know tequila from a few handful of uh, big brands, right? So first and foremost, got to treat them to an amazing brand. Secondly, I said, you know what? I'm going to treat myself. This actual um, bottle was sold in a double pack. So you can see right here, 40.1%. Yes, that 0.1% actually makes a difference. Um, and the reasoning too is that the second bottle, again, it was sold in a pair. I still have the other one at home. Uh, when you purchase this from Old Town Tequila, you can only buy it in a pair. And one barrel 40 was coming in at 40.1%. The other bottle coming from barrel 41 was bottled at 40.7%. And their rationale and reasoning for putting both bottles together and not selling as just one was they said, you know what, when they're selecting a, sel a single barrel, select barrel, they go through tasting a bunch of different barrels and like, you know, what, what are the flavors and smells on this one compared to that one? And they are part of that process of picking what they end up bottling for them. So this right here, this bottle, this cask, right? You can see there's only 240 of these bad boys available. We got bottle number 66. Uh, only, only, only this, what's in this bottle, this juice, this liquid, right? you are only ever going to get from Old Town Tequila in this offering. And once those 240 bottles are gone, guess what? They're gone forever. So most people will say, oh my gosh, why are you gonna open that? Well, why not, right? You can't take it when you're dead. So we're gonna open this bad boy up and we appreciate you being here with us. Checking out the rest of the labeling on this. Um, Expert and barrels. You know, just got some story from Carlos Camarena on the back about El Tesoro. We got that really striking Tahona top. Not sure if you guys who have ever seen this or not, if it's your first time, the bottle stopper, topper, whatever you want to call it, is actually a Tahona. It's a replica Tahona, kind of cool and still sealed up. Uh, this is coming out of La Altenia, NOM1139. And overall, El Tesoro. One of our favorite, favorite, favorite brands. Always keeps stock at the house. The distillery itself, always good to us when we go and visit. And just such a beautiful, beautiful family and beautiful people all across the board. The entire brand, everybody working there. So Alto Soto, shout out to you guys. 
Um, like I said, guys, this is coming from Old Town Tequila, where we do get a lot of our juice from. Go check them out as well. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, you know, reading online, they're saying that the barrel 40, this one, the 40.1 percent, is a little bit more, um, a little bit more uh, full bodied, whereas that second barrel, barrel 41, right? That 40.7% ABV is a little bit more medium bodied. So that's a reason too why I brought this one with me because you all know Reposados are our least favorite here at Agave Talk. We go Blanco, we go Extra Añejo, but reading that this is the more full bodied, the more Agave kind of forward Reposado, um, I definitely brought this because again, when we're talking uh, uh, tequila and we're talking, you know, really craft, high quality, delicious kind of juice. I want my juice to taste like agave. And that's what I'm trying to do, share with some family and friends over here and show them exactly what great agave should taste like. So that's the mission here. And uh, the other mission, we're gonna drink this. We appreciate you being here with us for sure. Um, if you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk, all right? So just taking off the plastic here, boom, gone. There's still some here, I'll get that off. We always like to do our shots in uh, one take, you know, just keep going, no editing, no nothing. So I'll take this off later. Let your bottles pop. Oh my gosh, that is tight. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that to be that tight. I have so many bottles at the house that have yet to been open. They're just kind of there hanging out. And uh, sometimes that makes, you know, them been sitting for a while, that cork to just kind of stick in there. But super heavy, love, love, love El Tesoro um, toppers. And oh man, I'm really excited for this. Really, really, really excited. So let's pour this out. Oh man, look at the color on that. It's a... Uh, it's a little darker in the bottle, but a little lighter. Look at that right there. A little lighter in the cup. Not sure if it's the white background or not, but um, definitely looking a little lighter in the cup for sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, let's check this out. Oh man, I'm excited, I'm excited. Thank you for being here with us, everybody. So look in and uh, you know what, before I bring that up, Take a look at the legs and tears on this. That is sticking. Move that out the way. Now, let me bring it back in. There you go. You can see it right here in the back and then on the front, right? That is sticking and that is not moving, which means that's going to make for a really, really, really cool mouthfeel. Um, and also reading that, you know what, this is more of a full bodied reposado. Um, for sure, for sure, those oils right there. Oh, man, that is not moving. That is absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's take a smell. Oh, oh my, like getting it even halfway to my nose, I can smell all oh, the agave on this for sure. Oh, oh man, oh, man, oh, man. That, that right there is incredible. Oh. Like I said, Reposados are usually our least favorite. We really lean towards Blanco. Um, Blanco, why? Because I love agave. If you have ever tasted agave, um, it's a very distinct flavor. You're never going to forget it. Physically, go travel to Guadalajara, travel to Tequila, and try it out. Try a bite of it, and um, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is actually exquisite, too, because... For Reposado, this was aged nine months, right? Just a few months shy of... Uh, of that one year mark. Uh, so you are getting some hints of that wood. You're definitely, definitely getting a ton of agave. I'm loving it. It's kind of some toffee and I, I have the Old Town Tequila website. You can still see this up there. Um, if you just do, you know, Google El Tesoro Old Town Tequila single barrel. Um, you can see both bottles. It was a double pack for 120 bucks. That's so you know you're looking at the right one. And um, they say that the nose on this is chamomile, mint, caramel, and toffee. I could definitely see the toffee. All right, I could kind of minty chamomile, like 
like mint chocolate. Like if you ever had like the, uh, the little mints with like the green stripe in the middle, usually, I don't know, some restaurants still serve it to you like after dinner. It's like really thin with a green stripe in the middle. It's kind of got that groove going on as well. I can definitely smell the mint for sure if I think about it. Toffee too, but it's just, oh, that agave on here is absolutely shining. I love it. And definitely some wood. All right, cheers. I can sit, man, I haven't touched it yet. I can sit here and smell this all day. Oh, I love it. Cheers. Salute everybody. Let's take a sip. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, that goes down way too easy. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm kind of upset now that I opened this. I'll be honest because I know. <laughs> oh, man. This is just going to go so fast. I. Again, if you follow the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, recently we've moved to Lima, Peru, and um, the agave selection outside of, you know, a few huge brands that you find all over the world, you know, you're not finding quality stuff like this. I have to wait till maybe, you know, friend or family comes visit or I go back to the States and just bring it with me and hopefully and hoping it doesn't break in my, you know, care in my uh, checked luggage. Uh, Oh my God, this is going to go so fast just because I'm going to drink this because it's so delicious and I've been missing tequila. High quality, good juice. And also too, I know I'm just going to be sharing it with a ton of friends and family here just because, you know, hey guys, you think you know tequila? Nah, let's try tequila. Oh, this is great. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me take another sip. I could just keep going on. Let me take another sip. I'm getting nostalgic. Thank you guys. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, man. Mm. That second sip got a little, little tingle in my tongue, a little pepper for sure. Um, reading the Old Town Tequila website again, they, you know, on the palate, they're saying fresh oak, um, fresh wood, definitely getting that fermentation as well. You're kind of getting it, it, it tastes fermented, right? which is a good thing, right? It's definitely a good thing. Sometimes you, you eat something that tastes a little spoiled, tastes a little fermenting. This is complimentary. Um, you're getting, they saying, they're saying coffee, cinnamon for sure, and uh, prunes, which is interesting. You could definitely get some fruit on this, like some dried fruit, um, more of like the black variety, even blackberry maybe. But this is definitely, definitely, definitely something that is delicious. I'm digging it. I can definitely check out and... Uh, the cinnamon for sure. Oh, yes. Oh, it's, oh my God. This is just, it's delicious. Let me take this last sip. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. No, that's amazing. El Tesoro, Old Town Tequila. This is great. Kudos, guys. Thank you. This is amazing. Um, and you all being here with me for sure. Thank you. If you have not done so already, please hit that like and subscribe as well as follow us on Instagram at Agave Talk. All right. Thank you again. Uh, yeah, again, really, really, really pleased. We highly encourage everybody to go check out El Tesoro if you ever see it, one of our favorite brands. And uh, shout out to Old Town Tequila for always being awesome. All right. Uh, other than that, thank you for being here with us and take care. <laughs>